Hello, this is a short video demonstrating show me tell me questions. You will be asked two of these on your test. Uh, hello there, I'm going to ask you some show me tell me questions. Okay. Um, if you can I just open the bonnet for me please. Yeah, no problem, so I'll open the door and I'll find the catch. I've done that, if we just pull the bonnet up a little bit, I'll be able to feel the catch, there it is. I'll push it up, pull the engine, stay out, put it in. There we go, the engine's open. Okay, lovely. Um, could you identify where the screen wash reservoir is and yep. how would you check the levels, please? Yeah, no problem. So that's this one here. It's got the picture of the window and the squirty water on it. Um, you'd either fill it up so you know it's full, or you could go inside and squirt the window. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Uh, can you identify where the dipstick is and how would you check the oil level? Yeah, no problem. So this is the dipstick. So you put it out, wipe it all the way off, dip it back in, pull it out and then check the minimum and maximum markings on it. Um, if it needs popping up, just a little bit at a time, just in this one here. Okay, lovely, thank you. And can you identify where the engine coolant reservoir is and how would you check the levels on that? Yeah, no problem. So this is the engine coolant. It's a clear bottle. Um, it's got a minimum mark on the side, so you just check that the fluids up to that minimum mark um, and you wouldn't open it when it's hot because you'd burn yourself. Okay lovely and last one can you identify where the brake fluid reservoir is and how do you check the levels in that one? Yep so this is the brake fluid reservoir um, on the side of the bottle it's a clear one again it's got a minimum and maximum mark um, and I can see it's just below the maximum there. Okay brilliant thank you very much and if you can now close the bonnet for me please. Yep no problem so if I just push it up a tiny bit that'll make the stay loose I can clip that back in bring it down so it's about 20 centimeters high and then let go of it and then just check that it's secure which it is brilliant thank you very much okay Ian if you can show me how you would check if the headlights and tail lights were working on this vehicle please yeah no problem um, I need to turn the ignition on on this car so I'm going to get inside check the handbrake in neutral and then I'm going to put the key in and turn the ignition on so I can turn the lights on brilliant and then I'll okay. get back out Now I've turned the lights on, I can walk around. So I need to check the side light, headlight, they're both fine. Headlight and side light, that's fine. And then at the back, I'll check the side light on this side, side light on this side, that's all fine. So I'll turn the key back off. Brilliant, thank you very much. And if you can now show me how you're checking if the directional indicators are working on the car, please. Yeah, no problem. So I'll just go back inside and I'll turn the hazard lights on. And then I need to walk around and check they were working. So you've got one here, one there, one here, one there. And then round the back, I've got one on the left, one on the right, they were working fine. Brilliant, thank you very much. Hey Ian, if you can show me how you would check if the brake lights are working, yep. I can help assist you in this since there's no one else to help you. Okay, um, what I need to do is get in the car and turn the ignition on. So I'll need to handbrake and neutral before I do that. And then I'll press the brake pedal if you could tell me if they're working or not. Okay, will do. Yep, all three are working. Lovely, okay, and how would you check if the brake lights are working if there was no one else to uh, help you? Um, I could reverse it to something reflective like a garage door or a window um, and then look in my mirrors to see the reflection. Okay, fantastic, thank you. Okay, Ian, can you show me how you would switch on the rear fog light and explain when you would use it, please? Yeah, no problem. I'm going to need to put the key in, so I'm going to check the handbrake in neutral first. I'm going to turn the ignition on so I can turn the lights on. So this is the light switch. I'm going to turn the lights on and then the fog light switch is here and there's a little symbol that's come up on my dash to say my fog lights are on. Um, I would use my fog lights if visibility is less than 100 metres, um, and I must remember to turn it back off again when the fog starts to disappear. Lovely, thank you very much. Okay, Ian, can you show me how you'd switch the headlights between dipped beam and full beam, please? No problem. So again, I need to put the key in, so I'm going to handbrake and neutral first. I'm going to turn the ignition on, and then I'm going to turn my lights on. Now, once my lights are on, I can press the stalk away, and this little blue symbol comes up in the middle here. 
that tells me my four beams are on and then I put it back towards me to turn them off. Brilliant, thank you very much. Ian, can you show me and explain how you would check if the power assisted steering was working before starting a journey? Yeah, no problem. So I'm going to need to start the engine for this. So I'm going to handbrake in neutral first. I'm going to put the key in the ignition. Now, if I put a little bit of pressure on the steering wheel, as I start the engine, the steering wheel will just go loose. So I only want a little bit of pressure so it doesn't turn much. So, and there you go. You suddenly feel it just goes really nice and light. Um, you would know if it wasn't working because it would stay as heavy as it was before I started the engine. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, Ian, can you show me how you would check the parking brake for excessive wear? Yeah, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot on the foot brake to hold the car. I'm going to take the handbrake off and then going to put the handbrake back on and then come off the brake pedal. Now I know the handbrake's working. Now I should be able to put up at least one more click, which I could. And that tells me that it's not at the end of its working travel and it's not nearly worn out. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Can you show me how you would check if the horn was working? Yeah. And can you explain what the horn is used for, please? Yeah, no problem. So on this car, this, the horn's just in the middle of the wheel. Just give it a little a hoot. That tells me it's working. Um, I would use it to warn someone of my presence. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Ian, can you tell me how you would know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system, also known as ABS? Yeah, no problem. So what I need to do is turn the ignition on. So I'm going to handbrake neutral first. And then as I turn the ignition on, there'll be a little ABS light on here. If it goes off after a few seconds, like it just has, that means there's no problem. If it stays on, or if it comes on whilst I'm driving, that means there's a problem. Brilliant, thank you. Tell me how you would check that the brakes are working before starting off on a journey. Yeah, no problem. So what you would do is you'd start the engine, um, and then you'd feel the brake pedal. It shouldn't feel spongy or slack. And then whilst you're driving and braking, the car shouldn't feel like it's pulling left or right whilst braking normally. Okay, brilliant. Can you show me how you would set the demister controls to clear all the windows effectively? Mm -hmm. This should include the front and rear window. Yeah, no problem. So what I need to do is I need to turn the heat up to max, turn the fan up to max, and then turn the directional up to the front window. That will clear the front window. To do the rear window, you press, press the, the rear button, um, which heats up the lines on the rear window. Okay, lovely, thank you. And can you show me how you would clean the windscreen using the windscreen washer and wipes, please? Yeah, no problem. I'll need to turn the ignition on for this. So I'll check my handbrake neutral first. I'll put the key in, turn the ignition on. And then I just squirt the front one and then squirt the rear one. And then the wipers will automatically turn themselves off after a couple of wipes. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Tell me in how you would check the tyres to ensure they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. Yeah, no problem. So I'm going to check all the grooves in the central three quarters of the tyre all the way around to check that they're at least 1.6 millimetres deep. Um, there's these little blocks in each groove. So if the tyre is worn down to those blocks, you know it's very, very close to that 1.6 millimetre limit. I'm also going to check the side of the tyre just to double check there's no cuts or bulges or any signs of damage or perishing. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Okay, Ian, can you tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tyre pressure for this car? Yeah. And how tyre pressures should be checked? Yeah, I'll find the information in the user manual, which is normally in the glove box. Um, sometimes you'll find it on the inside of the door frame on a sticker just here. Um, you might also find it on the inside of a fuel flap. Um, you want to use a reliable pressure gauge to check it's working. Um, you want to check the tyres when they're cold. Um, and you want to remember to replace the valve caps when you've done them. Okay, lovely, thank you very much. Tell me how you would make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. Okay, so what I need to do is adjust it so that my eye line's in the middle of it, so a little bit more, so it, just so my eyes are in the middle. Um, I also, if it can adjust backwards and forwards, I want to bring it as close to my head as possible, but not touching. Cool, thank you. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it useful. The controls on cars differ slightly, but your instructor will guide you through the minor differences.